$7.45. Hey everyone, it is Deanne. On the vlog today, I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree teacher challenge. I just pulled up to the Dollar Tree and this is a real life challenge because I need to stock my PBIS prize box for my classroom and I don't have a lot of money to do it. So I'm using only the money that I have in my wallet, only the cash. I recently asked my husband to take over the budget and did he take over? Like for the last six years, I was the one who was doing the budget for our family. We've been married six years, so you do the math. And so realized that we were overspending quite a bit. And so we sat down, talked about it, it was really good. And so we both took our debit cards out of our wallet. We leave them at home. We took our credit card out of our wallet we leave our credit cards at home and I have to buy this stuff for my kids because on Friday they turn in their tickets. We use the ticket system for PBIS and a lot of my kids chose to do the punch it. And that's basically something I saw on Instagram where you glue a bunch of um, cups to a foam board and then you put like a little prize inside of the cups. You cover it with tissue paper. They punch through it, pick out a prize. It's super fun. They are so hyped about it. And so I should have had it ready on Friday for them, but I didn't. And I told them, you know, go ahead. If you want to do punch a prize or just like whatever you want to do, let me know, write it down in the sticky note. And then when we come back on Monday, which I really should have said Tuesday, um, because today is Monday, it's Labor Day. And then actually on Tuesday and Wednesday, we're gonna be out due to Dorian. But anyway, like when we come back, I have to have it ready for them because I told them that I would. And it's the beginning of the year, we're building relationships and I'm figuring out who they are, just like they're figuring out who I am. And I want them to see me as someone who they can trust and is dependable and who means what she says and says what she means. So I have to have this thing for them. Anyway, the challenge is I need to stock this thing. I think I'm gonna put about 15 to 20 cups on there. So I need to have 20 items for this incentive system and only use the money that's in my wallet. So let's see how it works out. There are a lot of people at the Dollar Tree today. So these are the tickets that I actually use for the PBIS system in my classroom. So whatever I get, it has to be something that has multiple in a pack and the kids have to think it's cool. Like it can't be something they won't really want because then it's not really a reward that they're gonna wanna work for. I thought these slinkies were really fun, so I picked up a pack and how convenient that a basket was just sitting right there on the floor just for me. Teacher supplies are not a part of the challenge, so I am happy to say that I did a really good job for the most part of not getting distracted. I really needed new scissors though. My scissors at home are about as sharp as a baby's first tooth, which guys, it's not even sharp at all. So calendars might work because they're not actually calendars. They're posters that kids can hang on the wall in their room. They can tape it to the front of a binder or a notebook for a little bit of an extra design and personality. So let's check it out and see which other uh, calendars they have. There's the emoji one. Not really feeling that. They have a Hatchimals calendar. I know that some of my girls would love that. Lisa Frank, guys. Lisa Frank brings back so many childhood memories. Look how bright and colorful the designs are. I really wonder how some of the girls would feel about Lisa Frank. What else? They also have a superhero poster. I know my boys would like that and especially I have one girl who loves superheroes. scissors. I think these bangles might be a hit. There's seven in a pack. So if I get bangles for the girls then mustaches for the boys. I think we're up to six now. These would be really cute for my son's room. 
are really cute. Yeah, it's really cute, but it looks a little dingy. Last year on Instagram, I saw several teachers do room transformations, like a crime scene investigation type thing, so this would be perfect for that. Whenever you're out shopping, there always comes the time when you need to go through your basket, take one last look at everything, see, do I really need all this stuff? Can I afford it all? Is there anything I need to put back? And so that's what I'm doing right now. It's my final challenge check-in before I head to the register. I am really a huge fan of these alphabet wall decal letters for my son's room. He has some in there already, but they've been up since he was an infant. They're getting kind of old and I ultimately decided that, you know what, I just need to go ahead and put these back because based on what I'm doing for the challenge today, I just don't have the money to get them. So, back they go. It's a little sad that I had to put one thing back. I thought the total would be $7.35, but it was $7.49 and that is about four cents less, four or five cents less than what I had. So. I took the balls and I put them back. And that's the whole thing about a challenge. Like a challenge is not necessarily easy or else it wouldn't be called a challenge. Nonetheless, I did get some good things for my PBIS um, reward system. And when I go home, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna make it. The only thing is though, I hope I have my glue gun at home cause I think I took it to school. So I don't know, we'll see. I might have to stop at Walmart and get a glue gun but shh, don't tell my husband i would have to like go home and get my debit card to get the glue gun to make it nope. all right guys so before i go home let me show you what i got i was on the way home and i just pulled over because i was like when i get home the lighting's not gonna be that good so let's do it right now i got these bangles seven in a pack i got this lisa frank calendar lisa frank was she was it when I was in second grade in elementary school. I wanted and I had Lisa Frank everything. The Trapper Keeper, maybe I'm aging myself there. Uh, I had the Trapper Keeper, like the folders, the notebooks, I had it all. Or maybe I didn't have it all, maybe I wanted it all. And my mom probably, unless it was on sale, didn't get it for me, but that's another story. I wanna see how my girls feel about this. So I'm gonna have these Lisa Frank posters and I had, I did another video about some treasure bin ideas for the classroom. I'll link it up here. And in that video, I talked about when you're presenting something unusual to your students, it's all about how you market it to them. So I'm not gonna tell them you can win a calendar. I'm gonna tell them that you can win these wonderful, amazing posters. You have 12 choices that you can choose from. I got the superhero Marvel calendar, I mean posters for the boys. So these are all their different poster choices they can choose from. So I'm not actually going to put the prizes inside the cups. I'm going to put on a slip of paper what prize it is that they'll get from the prize bin. And that is because my husband gave me this wonderful idea because I was thinking I could only buy little prizes to put in the cups because the cups, like the openings, are not going to fit everything. But he was like, just put a slip of paper in there of what they can get. And I was like, oh, that is so smart. I'm going to keep you around. So I'll have two tickets in there or maybe one ticket will say girls, bangles, boys, mustaches. No, I don't think I'll do it on the same ticket. I think I'll do it on separate tickets because the next time, like say I want to pair something else with the bangles that are not mustaches, then I can have like, the freedom to do that. Slinkies are super fun, six in a pack. I think the kids will enjoy that. This is not for them, this is for me, but I really need scissors. I'm making a ton of bulletin board letters today and my scissors are really old and I need new ones to cut them out. Two of my teammates, Denise and Peyton, they both have a Cricut and they're like, girl, quit making those bulletin board letters. If you need some, just let me know. The thing is I wanna have my bulletin board letters already ready to go when I get back to school on Thursday. If we end up going back on Thursday, like this whole week might just be a wash. So yeah, I wanna have them already ready. So I made my bulletin board letters last night. I will print them out, laminate and cut them out today. 
And so the classroom setup saga continues. There's so many things that I did not get set up in my classroom before school started, but it's okay. You know, kids are learning, we're going through procedures and it's all good. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what do you use for rewards in your classroom? Where do you buy them from? Do you buy them? Do you get parents to donate? And with my husband cracking down on the budget, I don't think that I'm going to be spending as much, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be spending as much on my classroom as I used to when I had like complete control over the budget. So I am going to solicit the help of my parents. Anyway, that is it. See you guys in the next one.